Hello boys and girls! Did you guys listen well to today's sermon on the prophet Habakkuk? Right now, we are going to take this time and think back about what we have learned today. Now, do you guys remember our big picture question? Let's read it together. How did God plan to fix what sin broke? Before he created the world, God planned to send the Messiah to save sinners. Let us bring out our pen or pencil and turn to page 23. Let's take this time to read our story and write in our journals. And while you guys are doing your journals, pause the video and then press play when you are ready to continue. Now let's look back and see what we learned about today during our worship service. The prophet Habakkuk prayed to God about the bad things that were happening in Judah. God told Habakkuk it, that it may seem like bad people were always winning now, but one day they will not win anymore. Habakkuk learned to trust in God. Now let's say our memory verse together. Ready? If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. Let us pray. Let us all bow our heads, close our eyes and fold our hands. Dear God, we thank you for the story of Habakkuk. We pray, God, that we can always obey you and follow after you. Help us so that we can also learn to trust in you. Thank you for taking care of us and keeping us healthy. We love you very much, and in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let us watch our story one more time, and I hope that everyone has a great week, and I will see you guys next week. Until then, bye-bye! Habakkuk the prophet prayed to God. How long, O Lord, he prayed. How long will I cry to you for help and you do not hear me? Habakkuk had told God about all the violence that was happening in Judah, but nothing seemed to change. Why do you let bad things happen? People are fighting and stealing. The bad guys always win, Habakkuk said. God was listening. He knew what was happening. God answered, watch, I am doing something amazing, something you wouldn't believe if I told you. Then God told Habakkuk what was going to happen. God was raising up enemies, the mighty Babylonians. No one could stand in their way. Their army would be strong and fast like hungry eagles that swoop from the sky to catch little mice in a field. The Babylonians were going to come and make God's people prisoners. Would this really happen? Habakkuk wanted the evil in Judah to stop, but the people of Babylon were evil too. Why do it this way, Lord? Habakkuk asked. God answered, I'm going to show you what will happen. Be patient and wait for it. If you are righteous, you will live by faith. It may seem like evil people are winning now, but they won't win in the end, God said. God knows how to deal with evil people like the Babylonians. He promised Habakkuk that the people's captivity in Babylon wouldn't last forever. 
God was going to bring his people back to their land. Habakkuk prayed. People had forgotten about God. They didn't care about sin. They didn't pray. Habakkuk wanted that to change. He wanted people to wake up, to love God and hate sin. You've done so many amazing, powerful things. Please do it again so everyone will know you. Be merciful to us, Habakkuk said. Habakkuk praised God for his power. The Babylonians were going to come and life for the people in Judah would be very hard for a while. But Habakkuk had faith and he would wait for the day when God would rescue his people from the Babylonians. Finally, Habakkuk said, even if the trees and vines do not produce fruit, even if nothing grows in the fields, and even if there are no sheep in the pens and no cattle in the barns, I will be glad because of the Lord. I will rejoice in God who saves. Habakkuk lived at a time when evil seemed to be everywhere. By faith, he trusted God's promise that God would deliver his people. Injustice, violence, and wickedness surround us today, but we can live by faith and trust that Jesus will return to make all things right.